Hey friends, my mix diary here and as you can see it's a bright sunny day. It's slightly cold so I still have my jacket on and since it's a long weekend we are planning to visit the capital of Canada, Ottawa. So it's a two day trip planned and I will share my entire journey through my video so that anybody who is planning to visit Ottawa can follow my guidelines and visit this place. Just to give a brief history of this place, it is the home for the federal government and also it has an amazing history, a very deep rooted one. You will get to explore a lot of national galleries, amazing buildings, most famous breathtaking canal and of course a lot of space to explore nature and do not forget the most famous gathering of freedom convoy movement that happened last year. For us, it'll take around uh, five and a half hours to reach there. Once I reach there, I'll explore more of the place and share with you the updates. It's 12.30 p.m. and we have stopped by Tim Hortons to have our tiny meal. So once we have that, we'll head back to our destination. Let's get in. So we have got a lunch that's uh, the cilantro lime veggie bowl with a cold coffee. He's going to have his uh, soup with the bread and butter and with the wrap. I think that's enough for our lunch. And if we feel more hungry, we'll just see if there is any other location and we can get it from there. Time to have a lunch. So finally we have reached our destination, that's Ottawa. It's a beautiful weather out here. The snow has still not melted, if you can see. So we'll be staying here in downtown so that it's easily accessible for us to explore the places. So we'll first check in and then we'll start exploring this place. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around. So we have completed our check-in and we are heading to our room. Our room is on the ground floor. I just wanna, I just wanna clap, clap. So that's a very cozy room, I can say. Enough to spend one night. And I think it's not worth spending a lot of money when you are planning to spend one night in a place. So compared to that, I think it's a pretty cool place for us to stay. So we'll bring our luggage, we'll keep it here, and then we'll just freshen up and then explore more of downtown Ottawa. An important thing to note here, that when we checked in, we came to know we have to pay $10 extra for parking. Uh, it usually doesn't happen when we book our hotels through a third-party vendor, because they clearly mention on the free services that are available or if they are paid services, and nothing was mentioned on the Priceline site. But nevertheless, when we came here, we knew that we have to pay extra $10 for the parking as mentioned by the person on the desk. And uh, that is for one night. That was uh, a bit shocking for us because it's not about $10, but it's about the clarity of information that you're putting on your site. I think there is a scope of uh, improvement for the people who are booking via any third party sites. Now we'll get ready to go to the downtown. We are in Ottawa now and it's pretty cold here though it was a bright sunny day as it appeared in the morning. Now we are heading off to the Parliament Hill. It's one of the main attractions of this city and people who know the history of it would definitely be able to link to this because here is where the law is made for the people who are staying in this country. So it's around 10 minutes walking distance from the place where we are staying. So we'll just head there. Let's go. So we are here in the parliament building and it has three separate sections, the west, the east and the central section. If you want to explore the east and the central section, there are guided tours. Uh, we are not interested to take that right now, but yeah, maybe sometime later. We will just take a walk around this building and explore this beautiful gothic architecture out here. I 
out here i'm literally getting frozen <laughs> but as i said this city is rich in history as you can see the buildings it's amazing and it speaks a lot about the history of this place and after exploring this we'll just see on the other side because there is a lot of construction going on and as you know we are moving from spring to summer and summer is something to watch out here in Ottawa. There is Tulip Festival, there is Northern Light Festival and there is a lot more that comes up. So you can always check into the Ottawa Tourism online link where you will get updated on all the events that are occurring. But nevertheless, it's spring but it feels like winter as I always say on my post. But still, I think we are still enjoying this place. Searching a lot of places, we finally have come to Frida's Mexican kitchen and we have ordered our food and we are waiting for our dinner. The ambience is very Mexican with lovely music. So our dinner has arrived and it looks delicious. We'll try it now. This is a fish taco. One day in Ottawa and so far it was nice. We got to explore a few of the historical places out here and there is more that we have for tomorrow. This is the famous sign of Ottawa where we are standing. How could I miss that for tonight? completed day one in Ottawa. As you can see, it was totally freezing outside and I've just got red cheeks naturally. <laughs> but it was still a wonderful day. We didn't explore more into the buildings. We just went outside of the buildings because we wanted to know more about the history that the city offers you and also much more that is so captivating to the eyes. And we had wonderful food and tomorrow we still have more plans. Today is day two in Ottawa. I just wanna 